Taban Deng Gai is the man who now takes over the role of vice president from Riek Machar, taking the oath of leadership as President Salva Kiir looks on. This after Saturday afternoon deadline issued by Kiir requiring Riek Machar to return to Juba lapsed. Machar still in hiding after fleeing Juba following clashes between his forces and those of Kiir two weeks ago. To A function of his party convened on Saturday and resolved to replace him with Deng. For reasons known to him, he brought a huge force while we were inside in my office there. That huge force was to come and take over the palace and then declare himself as the president. The opposition SPLAIO, however, says it does not recognize Taban Deng and that Machar is still VP. The 28 members are currently not in Juba. We have now been told that they were intimidated. They collected some people, some people on the street, brought them together and said these are members of the political bureau. These are members of the National Liberation Council and they endorsed uh, Taban Dengai. Speaking to Citizen TV on phone, the nominated member of parliament allied to Machar says they want the international community to intervene and bring a third force, one that will create a buffer and balance between the two sides. Kiir has since opposed such a force. Conflict in the oil-producing country has left tens of thousands of people dead and forced more than two million to flee their homes. The main rebel group, which is loyal to Machar, returned to Juba in April and joined a transitional government that seeks to reform the economy and security forces before elections in about 30 months. There are fears that the move to replace Machar on Monday could potentially undermine last year's peace deal and reignite war in Africa's youngest nation. Masi Kandye, The Big Question.